On January 3rd, 2017, I traveled to Islamabad, Pakistan. For two days, I traveled with my cousins to the slums of Islamabad, documenting their tireless efforts in helping families with aid relief through their charity, the Tariq Kamal Foundation. Here is what I learned. This area has uh, got about, I don't know how many, but thousands of like families living here. They've got no land, they're just squatters, and uh, they're living here. One house has got like 10 people, 15, 20 people, and it's a really small house or a really small area that they've got. They've got no food, they've got no source of income. Uh, they're eating food by picking up food from this trash. See this like trash here? Where these clothes are eating from, mm -hmm. they eat from here, or they, uh, you know, they all fall sick. There's no healthcare here. There's no opportunity. There's no education. Um, if you go a bit, you know, forward now, you'll be able to like see a better glimpse of what life is like here. The Tariq Kamal Foundation was founded by Sasha Kamal in early 2016. After losing her father, she decided to create a non-for-profit organization that would honor his name and legacy. Sasha, along with co-founder Zoheib Khalid, raised money through fundraising efforts to bring meals, clothing, and education to the families in the slum-ridden areas. Here. Can I open my window? Or no? Come here, look you here. Can, Siki, you Siki, can. Siki, look here. <laughs> Okay, they speak Pashto, which is a different language. Uh, uh, so I just asked them how many people live here. They're not able to tell me. But look at those like two little kids playing. There. And then if uh, you can zoom in, that's where they all live. So each of these houses have like 20 people in it, 25 people. Each of these little houses, see? As we traveled further into the slums of Islamabad, also known to locals as District E12, we came across a man by the name of Iqbal Khan, who was gracious enough to tell us about his story. His name is Sabila Iqbal. Sabila Iqbal. Hello, Sabila Iqbal. Okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Do the camera bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, saying that four of my children have passed away after they, I mean, after the age of like seven something happens to them and they die. So we're going to try and ask them now what what's wrong. He's, he's saying all the children, four of his kids like passed away not at like the age of seven but yeah, but after like six months or like one year they just something happened. So we have to ask him now what can we do? Is there any you know medical treatment that he can have done? Let me ask. Can you get closer? Doctor Doctor Sir Kushri Batare Bas. Char Bachyapya. Nay Char ni art photo me char bit. Thank you. चार बेटे और चार बेटे के फोटो और ना साल तक उनकी सेहत ठीक होती है या नहीं साल तक वो पैदा ठीक ठाक होते हैं साल तक होते हैं बस साल के बाद फोटो में बुखार चढ़ता है बुखार में भी वो फोटो में 
Children all around Pakistan grow up in the slums without education, welfare, some without parents forced to fend for themselves continuously till adulthood. $1.32 equals 100 rupees. This buys them fresh hot meat, rice, bread, salad, and dressing. We take for granted $1, but for these starving children and family, it is a meal that could last almost two days allowing each of them to survive just that bit longer. As we drove further into the harsher, poverty-stricken areas, we met Osman with his nephew and passed the last of our food parcels. Ask him his name. Are the kids' name? Two, three. And what's your brother? Your brother? Your brother? Your brother? Your brother?